Hi y'all. So what's up? Welcome to my channel. This oh you're about to see me. Why is it always crying? I thought it was so strange. Well maybe it should just be right in front of the chair. Is that? Let's see. Does that work? That's cool. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Money Niche. I do a million things. Most importantly, I am a rapper, but today you are getting a full review for me and some of my emotions because I'm an emotional eater this week. So this food is from, um, one I want to say is I have two graduations this year. I'm in Teach for America. Today is my Teach for America graduation, two-year contract complete, which is uh, really exciting for me because a lot of people don't make it through their contracts, just in general. It's a contract thing. And... Yeah, so today's my first graduation, and my school gave us um, $25 on Seamless to get food because it's an online graduation again because of COVID, so they weren't able to feed us a person, so they're still feeding us anyway. I got, why does it say $13.06? I got fried mac and cheese, and I got wings. Oh. oh no, the sauce spilled out. I was gonna hold it up, but that makes no sense anymore. I was really hungry, and then I checked my email. I was like, oh snap, it's money in there, it's money in there. Hi, Kat. This weekend has been a lot. Um, my best friend was shot and killed this past, um, this past Thursday, and life is just like well you still got to do everything you got to do even though you're going through all of these things mentally and here i am i spent all day doing one no i did probably three assignments one really long assignment the graduation starts at six which is in about an hour this food came horribly early it was supposed to come at like hey alexa what time is it it's 5 12 p.m hope you've enjoyed your thursday I haven't. <laughs> um, I wanted this to come more towards like 5.40 and it's 5.12. So this is the fried mac and cheese and it has this sauce. I have just like a little tang to like the ending of it. But I think fried mac and cheese is like genius. Cause it's like, how much time are you taking to make this bro? Are you gonna bake it and then turn around and fry it? This is why I don't like cooking either, because this took probably like three or four hours to do, and it's gonna be going on like five minutes if I eat fast. Mm. LPS, this is not my first time eating this. <laughs> um, I've had this like twice in a, in a past. Right before the food came, I was thinking that I should sell everything in my apartment. And just completely start over. I feel like a lot of the stuff that's here, one, I lost a lot of weight even though I'm eating like this. Hopefully I don't get in the bag, but I lost a lot of weight. So a lot of my clothes, I can't fit anyway. So I'm gonna start a whole new wardrobe. And I was thinking to, create so i have a history in costume design for anyone first time watching and i was thinking to create my wardrobe like sketch out colors i want to wear and how i want to present myself there's this thing going around that says you need to show up as her before you become her and it's like i need to have a better vision of like how i see my future especially since this door is like closing today so i need to figure out what the next door opening looks like These are like two for eleven dollars. I think it's really expensive for mac and cheese, but like inflation in the world. Like even for, so I was considering moving back in with my mom. Like 
my rent is in the 1500s one bedroom but i've been looking for other apartments that's in the 1500s or lower because i know people will pay like 1200 dollars for rent and i can't find anything My lease is over in August, so I need to sign my renewal or I was honestly considering just moving in with my mom. Like I lived with her when the pandemic started and I am happy to have this experience and I would truly miss living on my own because it's like the whole apartment is mine. If I move with my mom, only my room is mine. But I think that for how much the world costs today, it's not worth it to live on your own. And then there's this whole, you know, rabbit hole I could go down into, but it's like um, Hispanic families usually stay together for a long period of time, or even like Caucasian families stay together for a long period of time. But it's like, why can't African-American um, families do that with their children? And not that my mom like kicked me out or that like she said I had to leave or anything like that but it was very much so an environment that I didn't want to be in for several reasons which I won't talk about right now but I think if I moved back in with my mom it would be like a mental health thing which I already have mental health issues right now but I'd be saving a lot of money if I moved back in so I'm very like I don't know I'm a whole adult right now like I don't want to hear someone say well this is my apartment because in my mind that's like saying bitch get the fuck out and especially like when I was younger if it was like a bitch get the fuck out I would actually leave I've admitted it either on my podcast or one of these videos I have over 100 YouTube videos now yay but like I've admitted that I slept in a train station before like as soon as you feel like you don't want me it's the most disgusting feeling in the world to me. Something that's really important is like feeling wanted. And I never really felt wanted. See, I feel obligated to eat both of them now. Because, let me come closer. Because the sauce spilled out the back. So the sauce is on the other one. So what if it loses its crunchiness? Oh, the side. See? What if it loses its crunchiness? I don't waste food though. I probably just throw it in the air fryer. But yeah, if I sold everything in my house, I can make a lot of money. Move in with my mom's. I was thinking about even like I mean this one hasn't been on the top of my mind like how it was how it's been before can y'all see that the chicken in there I don't like how this chicken smells so that starters meat has been smelling like really nasty to me um I made a smoothie earlier and like 
something just told me to taste the milk before I put it in the smoothie and it was like starting to go bad. So like that's really disgusting. And then I, um, oh, can I just back again? Yeah. And then um, what else? I haven't really had an appetite. Like I literally only got this. Like I was hungry, but I haven't been in the mood to cook. But I have my air fryer. So I made some salmon, was it yesterday? And the air fryer. And I made, um, where's my package? I gotta do a whole earth science project right now. Fucking, I ordered clothes to go to my friend's funeral. I ordered a black dress and then there's a wake tonight, but also my graduation tonight. So I said, I'm just gonna go to the funeral tomorrow. And I ordered, so the wake today is supposed to be like a all orange thing, right? And then tomorrow's supposed to be black. I ordered a whole orange outfit and a whole black outfit to wear. They tried to deliver it while I was at work. Excuse me. And then they said that they would do another attempt. I guess I gotta scan out little things to figure out where my stuff is at. If it's in the see, this is boom, mental health stuff again. Not I like I don't I'm not saying I'm gonna lose my mind right now, but I just had this epiphany that I need to find my package, right? It is what it might be like 5 30 right now. If I go outside, that means I should stop eating. I should go outside to try to figure out where my package is at because I want to be back on time to watch my graduation online. Yo, what kind of sauce did I get? Oh man, I thought they were gonna put the sauce on the side. Yo, closer. Cause what is that on there anyway? I gotta check to see what kind of wings I ordered. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Hey, little chicken. Hey, little chicken. All right, fingers crossed. Is it spicy? A little bit. Cat hair. Yo, I love my cat and everything, but like, I'm over it. I think I would miss her so much if she ever left. But like, cat hair everywhere, bro. So I did enjoy this last time I had it, but just, you know, I'm an honest person. My like, my, like I only eat because I'm like human. I don't really have an appetite. I only do certain things because I'm like, oh, okay. I feel like I should do it, but does my body, like, you know how people have like their favorite food and they just, mm, I can't wait to eat that. Nah, I'm not like that. Even in like being with people like romantically, I'm just, I'm just not there. And I, I don't even know why. Huh, depression, anxiety, my period, all they love, you don't. for a video. Somebody sent me a video. Mm. Once I finish this last paper, that I'm probably gonna save all my writing. Um, I'm gonna start podcasting again. I haven't podcast since I want to say January. I think my last podcast was Show Me Off. Mm -mm. I have a podcast called The Museum of My Mind. 
it's on spotify and apple i'm not sure where else is that because i only were like oh i didn't even dip it look at me trash i don't even want this either but i, I believe in dipping sauces like heavy like you got a sauce then use the sauce be saucy mm -hmm. Ugh, i'm too i feel like i need to get a wider view but then i feel like i need to be closer but then i like to to film the long way sometimes but that's only good for my phone and then when i'm on a computer i need it to be what is this the horizontal way it's it's, it's too much let me know i need to get something to drink that went down bad <laughs> Let me know which way you like. Do you like horizontal videos or do you like vertical videos? I've heard that vertical videos are better because most people just use their phone now. Which makes sense. But does that mean that TVs are completely like dead? Because even now I'm thinking about it, I have a brand new flat screen TV in my room. I've probably used it five times in two years, if that. Where's the money? I'm about to wrap it up. My name is Money Mish. I do a million things, including getting my master's, hopefully with this live paper that was due Monday. Oh Lord, it was past Monday. Most importantly, I'm a rapper. My next song comes out July 1st. It's called Round Down Frown, or Round Frown Down. Wait, my love and it goes round and round. These niggas like to see you frown, but ha, I got the last one now. My love and it goes round and round. Just... Round frown down. That makes more sense. Cause the song is my love and it goes round and round. These love to see you frown. But ha, I got the round. I don't know. Cause I don't even get it anymore. I kind of want to eat that and not this. I, oh man. You ever feel like you just got three or something left? Just finish it. Like why are you being pussy? I don't want it. I love when it goes round and round. These niggas like to see you frown. Round. My love when it goes round and round. These niggas like to see you frown. But I, I, I don't even understand how I made the title now because the, the lyrics don't make sense. If my loving goes round. Oh, I left a word out. See, the, the song is new, new. Hold on, hold on. Nah, it's, I, I recorded probably like a month and a half, two months ago. It's I say up and down in there, but I don't know where. Oh, my love and it goes round and round. They go up. Excuse me. My love and it goes up and down. These niggas, they go round and round. I gotta find a song now. I literally came out with myself. Hold on, we're gonna get this together. My love and it goes round and round. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. It goes like this. My love and it goes round and round. These bitches, they go up and down by these all the way. My love and it goes round and round. These bitches, they go up and down. These niggas like to see you frown, but ha, I got the laughs, laugh now. Yeah. Damn, hold on, right? Ask me to perform this. Give me some time. My love and it goes round and round. These bitches, they go up and down. Surround, down, frown. Boom, that's the title. I was like, why would I use that word? I had no reason until I figured out my own lyrics. I was watching this thing, and it was just like, oh, I think it was... It was Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is one of my favorites. Now he recently, well, seven months ago, but I just saw it pop up yesterday. He did this interview about like mental health and like when he shot himself. And it was like very like, 
Who wrote me? Oh, Leo. Hi, Leo. Leo just wrote me. He said, congratulations for my um, graduation. Thank you, Leo. Love you, Leo. <laughs> um, Don, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Little Wing, what he said in this clip, I seen that. It's like, it's hard to like write a rap that he hasn't already written just because he has such a, uh, I don't even know what words, what, what word is bigger than like big? <laughs> colossal. I like when he used the word colossal and, hey, Mr. Carter, hello. So, mm -mm. You know, mega, mega colossal. Okay. Yeah, like he has just so much music that he can't remember all the time what he said and what he didn't say. He has to really like sit and like go through it. And I get it. And then for me, it's been hard with music lately because it's like, I've been really like deeply depressed since September, the first time I got COVID because Lord, I made it two times. Then I had my, look, I, I've been telling you all my business. Yeah, I was depressed since September. I had my period for two months from the middle of December to the end of February. And then it's like all these papers are still do, and then like little head colds here and there, um, anxiety attacks, panic attacks, Lord, it's a lot. Anyway, y'all, um, I'm not gonna even give this food like a number like how I usually do, cause I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm just, I kind of ordered it cause it was free, not that I completely wanted it, but when I did have it in the past, I did really enjoy it. So hopefully you could, um utilize that information somehow going in person though they got some banging drinks i've been in person all right y'all again my name is money i'm out bye